we've been looking at fractions for a few weeks now and what we want to do is look at another way at expressing fractions and that's in terms of a decimal because our number system allows us to work in multiples of 10 but also it works the other way when we want to work with our fractions we can write our multiples of 10 here in terms of tens hundreds thousands so if I have 0 0.1 what I'm saying here is that I've got one tenth so I've broken my unit down into 10 parts and I'm going to express one tenth there. Now I can express two tenths by writing 0 0.2. So that's the same as 2 over 10. So it's just another way of writing it. And it's an, it's an important way of writing it. A lot of times you might see prices. So for example, $5.85. So what we've done is broken a dollar down into 100 cents. And our cents get represented as fractions of a dollar there. So it means we've got 80 and five cents but it's really if we write it as a decimal it's 5.85 because it's eight tenths of a whole plus five hundredths of a whole so if i have uh, a quarter of a kilogram of potatoes so i would write that as 0 0.25 because one quarter would be 25 hundredths of the whole that of uh, a kilo of uh, potatoes that we've got so two tenths and five hundredths so we can keep going and writing as many as we like with like 0 0.3752 would be three tenths seven hundredths five thousandths and two one two uh hundred thousandths and we can go millionths ten millions and so on we can keep going as many as we like we can go on to infinity even even though we won't <laughs> try and do that most of the time so what these are what we call a terminating decimal because we've got whole and um, fractions in that we can express the, all these fractions over ten a hundred in these two or over ten thousand so that's what our decimals are going to look like notice we've got a decimal point there all the time Anything on the left is a whole number, so whether it's in units, tens, hundreds, thousands, or anything to the right would be a fractional part in terms of 10, uh, denominator of 10, 100, 1000, and so on.